And we'll see Vivian after the Hereford community under 18s won 3 0 here tonight against Stellport Swiss. Your assessment of the game? I think we controlled it. Um, I think we controlled it from the start. I think first half we dominated. We just didn't, we weren't clinical enough. And we've been saying the same thing for a number of weeks now, which is a little bit disappointing. But I've got to look back on myself more than the players in a way to try and work out ways we can amend that. Um, I think we, I think we counted, we created 15 chances in the first half. Um, probably eight of those were goal scoring chances. Um, so it's one that we need to, like I say, we need to go away and reflect upon and see how can we improve that and get our chances to be buried. Because not every game we're going to be able to create 15 chances in the first half. Um, defensively, I thought we were solid. We had about a 10-minute period in the second half where we went to sleep a little bit and we needed to control those moments a little bit better. So, overall, good. And can you remember the goals as such? Yeah, first one, probably the hardest of the lot from the first half. I think Zach Johnson's put it in from about 25 yards. From I think it was a bit of a lucky wind-deflected shot into the top corner. He's shaking his head, but um, it was a good shot. But it was definitely the hardest shot of the half. I think Zach's hit the bar from a yard. Teddy's missed the target from a yard. Um, I think, yeah, we just need to be a little bit more clinical. Um, second half, we've gone and got our second and third. Um, and we sort of dominated from there. So where will you be in the table now? You, you were fifth, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm not team. sure, actually. It depends on a couple of other results, I think. Um, so we need to go by way and look at those results, see what they do to us. But in a way, we're not too interested in the table. We want to obviously do well. Um, but we said at the start of the season, if we can get players around the first team, I'd take that over a table result any day. And talking of that, two of your players went with the first team, now sadly down to three bridges. Yeah, Zach Johnson, Cam Davis. Um, it's a great experience for them. That's what we sort of we want to try and give them the opportunity to impress. Um, and it's up to them if whether or not they take it. If they continue to do well with us and they continue to show that hard work and the work ethic they were asking, then the opportunities will arise, and it's just then up to them to and take it. And who would have made the decision? Who went? Um, so it's obviously I feed back to Nashi and then between myself and Nashi sort of we have a look at the players who we think we, who we think we're ready and then obviously Nashi then makes his recommendations to the gaffer and your next game is here I think next Wednesday next Wednesday um, HFA Giant Killers we've got Balmont here um, so again another good test for us um, potentially slightly different where we might have a bit of an expectation to go and win well um, but it's important that we forget all of that it's a game of 90 minutes and Upsets happen, so we've got to come in with the right attitude and go and prove why they should be playing at our standard and not potentially anywhere else. And the league game here the following week, I think. Yes, um, you can ask me who that is against now, and I can't. Alva Church. Alva Church, I was going to say. <laughs> I I couldn't remember off the top of my head. Um, <laughs> Alva Church, yeah, we know they're they're a good football in the side. Um, we know a little bit about them, so we're going to prepare well over the next couple of weeks. We've got an, obviously the footage we've filmed. Pat's going to analyse it for us, and then we can go into the classroom and look at it. Thank you.